Good evening and thank you for joining us for Kremlin News at 6. I'm Mark Hanrahan. And I'm Whitney Ward. Thank you for being here. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office is getting a real-time crime center and its construction could be completed by the end of the year. It's a new space where deputies are hoping to track and prevent crimes in real time, in part by using monitoring surveillance cameras. The center also includes four new employees. County commissioners dedicated $4 million to the project last year and Spokane Valley City Council committed $850,000. The Sheriff's Office says the Real-time crime center will improve law enforcement response to crime and also help prioritize solving and preventing violent crime. The center will be located on the second floor of the public safety building. Crim 2's Amanda Rowley dug deeper into the story to find out just how many surveillance cameras are used by law enforcement. She is joining us live now with what she found. Amanda? Just this year alone, Spokane law enforcement bought or rented several new surveillance cameras to set up throughout the community. Some cameras are already in use, while others are still on the way. More surveillance cameras are coming to the Spokane area. Right now, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office has five CCTV cameras on the county campus, and it wants to buy two mobile units next year for unincorporated county areas. More cameras will come with the launch of the county's real-time crime center. But right now, the Sheriff's Office is working with a consultant to determine how many cameras it needs and where they should go. While some people have privacy concerns about the cameras, Sheriff John Knoll says the cameras won't use facial recognition technology and they'll only be used in public spaces. This is the Sheriff's Office bringing technology that we have needed for a very, very long time to enhance our capabilities and keeping our community safe. The Spokane Valley Police Department has one mobile camera unit and another on the way. You can find it at this housing construction site on East Broadway. Sheriff Knoll says it's deterring theft at the work site. Very, very successful, been very well received by the public. The Valley also has access to traffic cameras at 15 various intersections and areas. It's also working on a project that would deploy 50 surveillance cameras at city parks and trails. Sheriff Knoll says parks tend to be hot spots for car prowling, and he hopes the cameras will deter this activity and support deputies on patrol. This will allow them to look at all the different park locations in their car in a very quick fashion, and then they can decide to respond to the area where there is something suspicious happening. Onto the Spokane Police Department. It's on track to have a total of 20 automatic license plate reader cameras, and it's leasing an ALPR trailer. Five of the 20 are mounted on patrol cars and two will be installed on the Maple Street Bridge. SPD is also working on a grant to buy the remaining 13 ALPR cameras this year. Those will be permanently installed in areas with the busiest streets. SPD already identified several potential locations across the city and at its borders. These will help us do things like um, solve violent crimes, identify and uh, find stolen vehicles. SPD also also has 15 portable cameras currently in use with plans to add five more. The department can't share their locations because that could jeopardize active investigations. Now, we've recently noticed more local stores setting up their own mobile surveillance cameras in their parking lots. Now, I found this one in the Browns Edition Rosars parking lot, and I can confirm it is not associated with law enforcement. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.